Hi, my name is Ngozi Azike, and I'm the director of the Illinois Department of Public Health. I'm Allison Arity. I'm the commissioner at the Chicago Department of Public Health. Good news, for better or worse, is that we did have a playbook that we really were able to use when COVID started, and virtually everything in that playbook has happened. We're finally now getting to the vaccination stage. We, we of course, that's that's the last piece that we had not yet hit. Likening this experience to, to a hurricane, where yes, we, we know that hurricanes occur, and yes, we try to have some forewarning in terms of what, we th what kind of hurricane we think we're gonna have, but until it actually hits, uh, until you actually see uh, what it does and can fully assess the damage, you, I, I feel you can't really know everything until you're in it, but you know, we have a wonderfully uh, strong team that is just really trying to roll with what comes. And so some of the things that we outlined that we thought would go one way, uh, perhaps they didn't, and so had to steer course, uh, change course, uh, adjust <laughs> the direction uh, to take care of some things that were, were not intended. I've been so pleased by how Chicago by and large has stepped up. We have gone from a, a, a community that has never ever worn masks to now having really, really impressive uptake of this new practice. And I know how hard behavior changes. And so for the community to really bond together and realize the importance and be willing to follow science and do what's right for the community as a whole, that that's very good news and gives me hope. We've seen individuals, organizations, philanthropic groups. We've seen seen business, uh, industry, really willing to say, you know, what is needed, let's work together. If we continue with the collaboration and the partnerships with this, you know, all in approach, uh, there are so many issues that we can tackle just as, as we have tackled this virus. We're trying to make sure that the decisions and the investments that we're making now will outlive COVID in many ways. So whether it's that we're investing in our data systems, whether um, a lot of the community-based partners that we're funding to help with contact tracing or to build testing, these are in parts of the city and with partners that we really want to be able to have long-standing work with on things like chronic disease uh, after COVID is over. Once COVID is in the rear view mirror, and I can't wait for that time, but I just hope that, you know, the lessons we've learned uh, will not be dropped. You know, the disparities that COVID didn't bring, but that COVID put the spotlight on, I hope we're not gonna ignore that. This has brought certainly to the surface a lot of particularly, I think, the racial and ethnic uh, inequities that long predated COVID here in Chicago and that we were frankly talking a lot about as the health department. This has brought them into the light in a way that I think will lead, I hope, to real sort of structural change, additional investments. We're certainly committed to that as the health department and the mayor's committed to that. Even though we know it's not over, I think we're continuing to improve our methods, improve our approach so that any other thing that comes before us will be able to handle that as well. I love the city. I love Chicago. And I, I really do feel confident that we are going to come out of COVID down the road a stronger city as a result of the work that we've all been doing in this.